very interesting and significant table about Hanukkah. Our Rebbe tells us that 30 days for a festival, we should prepare for it. So we have, in short time really, the 30 days before Hanukkah will start, in verse while preparing for it. So how to prepare, we see in this table. Amazing tables here, we'll see, as once in the Torah, you have the words Hanukkah, Tabshin Pe Aleph, Hanukkah, 5, 7, 8, 1, 20, 21. Amazing. And the most interesting and unbelievable phenomena is when you have here, minimal is also a B8 of Shin Pe Aleph in 5781 2021. Unbelievable. Statistica has told me that. It's not necessary to look for statistics for such a thing because we have the eight option per aleph coming <laughs> once in the Torah, the really minimum, yeah? And having minimum the Torah Hanukkah option per aleph, it told me that <laughs> it's a statistic I will not say much. I mean, <laughs> it is not necessary to make statistics because it's so high that you need only common sense to see how true it is. That minimal is the Torah Hanukkah 5781 and the 8th of Shin Pei in 5781. What will you have on this time? Aha, uh-huh, we'll have Messiah, San Jesse, you see. But before analyzing the table, let us see interesting Gematria. So in Ibu you have the words Yemea Hanukkah. The days of Hanukkah. Now we have in Gematria many ways. Many ways are to look at the Gematria. Don't have it in English. One can see it in my book about Gematria through the lens of Gematria. You can see in my site, glazerson.com. So I wrote a book about almost 200, more than 200 pages about all the different ways of Gematria. So one of them is when you take the letter fully, like in Hebrew, Yud, Mem, Yud, A, Chet, Nun, Rav, Kafe. This is full gematria. When you take the letters, not only the simple ones, but the full one. Yud is Yud, Rav, Dalet. Mem is Mem, Mem. It comes to the number 786. Now what is this number? This number is this year. This year is... 786, 8 Tav Shin Pe Aleph. Amazing. No, maybe an indication that these days of Hanukkah, this year, where we are now, 5781, will be a special time of Hanukkah. And it is known that Hanukkah is a time, a time for the Messiah. It is interesting that some indicating to this is if you take the sentence, we light eight days of Hanukkah. In Hebrew, Madlikin, Shmonat Yemei Hanukkah. The first letter, HaMashiach. Mem Shin Yud Chet, Messiah. Unbelievable. So, also, the number eight represents Messiah because it is the number which is above the physical. Seven is a known one for materialism, for physical things. Eight represents the stage above, it is Messiah. So, let us now go into this table and we'll realize that very, very far away from being coincidence. So the first thing, as we said, Hanukkah 5781, Hanukkah 5781, and the 8 of Shin Pe Aleph, which cutting it in 5781. Then, so what we have more in this table, what we want. <laughs> ben Ishai, the son of Jesse, and also even Ben David, son of David. By the way, it is not usual to find both of them appear on one table. Then we have small skip of Messiah, Messiah of Lord your God. 
משיח השם אלוקיך. Then what is the most important in this table is what we should do in order that you will get the Messiah. And this is what Maimonides, the Rambam says, אין ישראל נגלים, ישראל ונות ברדים, אלא בתשובה, only by repentance. הוא כבר הבטיח את תורה, ואז את תורה, God promised that they will repent. אה, זה קורונה, before of Iran, who knows? But amazingly, you have your three times the word repentance, the תשובה. You have תשובה, every eight letters here, <laughs> interesting. number eight, it's Hanukkah, you have kids, the end of time, and the verse which tells us, keep and do all the laws, so this is good, real repentance should be, then you have here another time repentance, here you can see in red, so we have three times repentance, one, two, three, Why? No, maybe because there are three conditions for repentance, regret with your mind, confession with your heart, and Shinui Maaseh, changing your deeds with your physical, amazing. Three times, Shuvah in one table also not so usual. Then, what's more, we have, in fact, we have another time, Messiah, in fact, it goes... No, a sentence, Messiah draw the freedom of Messiah. It means the Messiah will bring us freedom. Then what more we have in this table, very interesting, you have another Messiah. By the way, but it indicates that we are still in the time of the plague of leprosy. It says that leprosy, this plague also has to do with... Corona, because all plagues are from the same idea. And we need miracles, we seem to get out of it, no doubt. Then we have another Messiah coming in, Koresh, Cyrus, by the way, parallel, it's interesting, parallel to Messiah. For Cyrus is the Messiah, not from Jewish people, but he's like Cyrus. is called in Isaiah chapter 45, like the elections, is called Messiah Hashem, Messiah of God. Why? Because he was helping Israel to go back to their land, to settle. And this is what really is Messiah doing. So this Cyrus is called by God Meshichi, Cyrus Koresh Meshichi, unbelievable. So those who are, who are doing the same have the same title, the Sparks of Cyrus. So who is now? This was the <laughs> Trump, no doubt, because he was the first one who recognized Jerusalem, the embassy in Jerusalem, recognized the Golan eyes, and also definitely believe in the prophecies In the Bible, which clearly says the Israel Jews will come back to their land to settle and recognize, recognize the settlements, not like Obama and his others who did not. So then also he realized the power of prayer. God, he said clearly about the Corona that in mask, no mask will not help much. What? He will help. He is our boss in heaven. Yeah, he believes. So, no doubt. And we can see clearly that it is not, not Trump and not Biden will solve the problem, you know. The Koran does not stop. The Corona goes stronger and stronger all over. In Europe also, what is going on in France and other places. So, this is only God. We need miracles for this, yeah. We have to pray. So, as I said, very interesting table, very significant, as I said, to have, to have Hanukkah 57811 in the Torah, with the letters Be'etab Shin together, uh, very, very highly significant. So, let us hope now we are starting soon, 30 days before Hanukkah, and it's written that these 30 days, 
are divided to 10, 10, 10. Why? For the first 10, you have to work on our intellect, our mind, to understand there is a God who looks after the world. Then comes out the heart, 10 days to see that it will, our idea, our understanding about God should be in our heart. Many people believe in it, but practically are not doing what they're supposed to do the Torah. Then you have the third, last 10 days, practically. All this, what you understood, what you felt, have to come practically in your life. So let us do it as much as we can, and then we'll have Gaoli Gael. Gaoli Gael is really, will be redeemed, but surely will be redeemed twice. Physical redemption and spiritual redemption, yeah. And this is the most important. So interesting and significant table for our time.